So one of the biggest Christmas niches every year is the elf niche. So take a look at these on Amazon. Take a look at these low BSRs. In this video, I'm going to show you where you can find elf graphics on the internet, a couple of different places, and I'm going to show you how to make your own elf graphics using Affinity Designer and doing it yourself for free. Let's go. Thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Juno with Detour Shirts. I've been designing and selling t-shirts online since 2005, and my channel is all about helping you to learn how to design and sell t-shirts online. If that's something you want to learn how to do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So in this video, I wanted to teach you how to create your own elf t-shirt. Uh, this elf design, this elf niche is a very popular niche every Christmas time. So these elf graphics are super popular and they're very easy to find on the internet. I'm going to show you a couple of places to find them. And I'm going to show you if you have Affinity Designer, how to make your own very easy. This is going to be very easy elf hat and elf uh, shoes and so that you can start making your own. I'm not going to show you how to do the entire design. I'm just going to show you how to do, get these graphics for you and you're going to have to put them together in your own way. I'm not going to tell you what's trending right now because that's going to change a lot, but these elf graphics can be used for different trends, can be used for different phrases and different ways to do it. So I think once you have that base, those graphics as a base, then you can mix and match and do your own thing and create something new that nobody has done before. So let's get into it right now. I'm going to show you first on the internet where you can get these graphics and then I'm going to go into Affinity Designer. So I want to show you a couple of places that you can find some elf graphics if you don't want to draw your own, if you want to just find it and buy it for yourself. Here on Creative Market, I talked about this place before, creativemarket.com. This is a place where you can find graphics and fonts and different things like that. So I'm going to just type in elf hat and hit search. And you can see there's a lot of different ways you can do this. There's Santa hats, there's elf hats. So this is what we're looking for, kind of an elf hat with elf shoes, that combo. And then you can write your text in the middle here. Let's look some more. I'm going to scroll down. You could even do something like this with different hats, you know, be creative, do Santa hats, elf hats, uh, reindeer hats, come up with a whole line of like things that someone could use during Christmas. You know, you could, you could have fun with that and make a series. You can see here, this one right here, Christmas elf. Uh, this is a SVG, but it's kind of the same idea, right? The elf hat and the elf shoes and legs there. So Lots of different options here on Creative Market. And another place that you can go to is Canva. So Canva right here, I have the free version. You saw a couple of videos that I did with Canva. I'm gonna just go into a unnamed design here and show you what I mean. I'm gonna take this one out and you can go here and search and I would search elements and you can see that I already searched some here, but let's just do elf hat, the same thing, elf hat. And you can see there's a lot of uh, elf hats. A lot of them are for the pro version. You can see right here, there are some free ones if you're doing the free version like I am. But if you have the pro version, you have a lot, of, lot, more, a lot more choices here. And if we scroll down and do elf uh, shoes, I think that's how I found it and then do graphics. You can see all these shoes on the bottom and if you scroll down, you can see the combos here. So let me click on one combo. This is kind of what we want here. The elf hat, the elf shoes, you can see really cool here and you don't have to draw any of it and you can take some uh, text here and start putting it in if you have the pro version. Again, this is the pro version. That's why there's the watermarks and these crowns here. So. If you have the pro version, great. If not, uh, use some of the free stuff here. Very limited for free stuff, which is why I'm gonna teach you how to draw your own. If you have Affinity Designer, it's gonna be super simple, a lot like this, but uh, a lot more simple and easy to do on your own. So let's get into Affinity Designer and I'll show you how to do that right now. So here we are on Affinity Designer. I'm going to show you how to do the elf hat really quickly, the elf hat and the elf shoes. But first the elf hat, we're going to go to the pen tool, click on it right here, pen tool. And first we're going to draw an arc. So click here, 
click right about here and pull. You see that Bezier curve? Hold down your mouse button and pull, and then come down here. So you can see this nice arc. It doesn't have to be a perfect arc. It just has to be an arc, a little bit of arc. And then we're gonna do kind of that crown shape. So we're gonna go out and in and out and in and out. And you can do this as many times as you want. I'm not counting, I'm just, you know, randomly selecting spots here. Out and in, out, and then connect the last one to the first dot that you made, the first point that you made, and there. So you can see it's very random and that's fine. Uh, I think random's better than trying to make it exactly the same. And then we're gonna color it. I'm gonna click on this move tool just to select it. Right now I have the outline black. I'm gonna switch that. Um, well, we'll take off the black outline at the end just so you can see where it is, but we're gonna make this one green. So the fill right here, green. We want 100 of cyan, zero magenta, 100 yellow, and zero K. Just for our base green, we can make it darker or lighter later, but for our base green here, use those colors. And we can adjust the points. If we think this side's too skinny and that side's too fat, click on the node tool and adjust your points as needed. So let's say we think that's too skinny. You know, you can come back in here, move things up and down if you want, just like that, right? Good. So once we have that, let's make this just a little bit smaller. So click on it, click on the move tool, and then just grab the edges and make it smaller. Now you can make it taller or smaller like this too, but just make it a little smaller. You can eyeball it right here. We're gonna draw a hat that kind of flops over to the right with the pen tool next, so we need some space. So go back to your pen tool, click on it, and we're gonna start here and kind of come around here. We're gonna flop it this way, right? Here, here, and make it flop down like this and kind of curve it. And we're gonna come back up and curve around this way and come back down. And once we're behind this crown that you just made, you can just click a point here and connect it. So nothing fancy here. So this is our cap now, and we're gonna color this red. So I have red selected here, which is zero cyan, 100 magenta, 100 yellow, and zero K, okay? And then we're gonna put this in the back by clicking move to back up here, move to back. And then we can adjust this as well with the node tool. So if we want, if it's too high here, you know, move this down, move this up, and you can adjust with the um, Bezier curves too. So pull it, whatever you need, right? So if this is, feels too flat, make it rounder like that. And if this is too thick, move it in like this. So this is just you making your own elf hat, right? So yours is gonna be different than other people because you're moving the points around. You can change the color, you can change these, right? And then the last thing we want is just a bell here or uh, you know, just like a puffy circle. And we're just gonna use the circle tool, the, or the ellipse tool, click on it, and just drag it like this. And this is gonna be yellow, so we're just gonna use 100% yellow. There you go, just put it at the end here, and you can make this come to a point closer if you want. There. Pretty cool, right? So that's your elf hat. That's how easy it is to do the elf hat. Click on move tool and select all of these and then hit command G and then we'll call this elf hat. So go to your group here and do elf hat. Done. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is elf shoes, elf legs and shoes, I'm just gonna call it shoes. So first thing we're gonna do is draw the leg. So let's go to the pen tool Click on the pen tool. We're gonna to do the top of the leg first. So click here and then go right, hold down shift so it's straight. And then we're gonna come in at an angle. So instead of coming down straight like this, we're gonna turn it just a little bit like that. And then we're gonna go straight and then back up. Now it may look a little thick. So what you may wanna do is just bring it in. So once you have it 
elves usually have skinny legs, so you can see there's my skinny leg right here. And we're gonna color this green. So green, cyan, and yellow. You can see right there, 100 cyan, 100 yellow. And the next thing we're gonna do is do the stripes on here. And it's gonna be really easy because we're just gonna use rectangles. So go to the rectangle tool right here and draw your rectangle just a little longer than the legs, doesn't matter. And then color it red. So after you draw this rectangle, click on it, hold down Option and Shift, click on this and drag. You're gonna to wanna to just drag it about a rectangle away right here. And once you're done with that, let go and then hit Command J and this is gonna repeat that same action. So Command J, you can see it did it again and do it until you pass the bottom of the leg. So there you go, I've passed it. You can see the leg is right here and that's there. And that could give you about, I'm having five right here, yours may be six, yours may be four. Um, let's just take all of these, it doesn't matter how many you see. Once you got all of these, make sure they're the same height as the leg itself. So come up here and then stop at the leg and the top part should be at the top of the leg. You can see right there, they're the same top and bottom. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna group these. So hit Command G. And we're gonna save them inside of the leg. So right here, these are the stripes. Over here on the palette, click on the stripes and go down below the leg and inside the leg. And you can see it's masking it. So the leg is masking these lines. You can see it's the stripes right there that we just made. So that's the leg. The next thing we're gonna do is just do kind of like this crown thing, but on the bottom of it, we're just gonna do three points before we do the shoe. So let me zoom in right here, and we're gonna use the pen tool again, pen tool, and we're gonna do the opposite of what we did for the hat. So we're gonna click on here, come down and uh, drag this so it's an arc, uh, an arc going the other way, this way, like a smile and come up here, you can see that arc right there. And then we're gonna go out just like this, come in, like doing the crown. We could do four, let's do in, out, in, out, out, and there we go. And connect them, you can see kind of the opposite effect that we did at the top. And we're gonna color this green just like we did at the top. So 100 cyan, zero magenta, 100 yellow, there we go. All right, so last thing we're gonna do is draw the shoe here. And since we're zoomed in, I'm gonna scroll up a little bit so you can see the shoe. We're gonna click on the pen tool, click on here, and we're gonna come out for the heel like that. We're gonna do an arch, right? So come up for arch like this, come back down for the ball of the foot. We're gonna come up like this and come around. This is gonna be a shoe that kinda comes up kind of like how we did the hat, where we turn around this way. So same motion, and then a little bit up like this for the top of the foot. All right, and there's our shoe. It doesn't have to be fancy. We can color this red, right? 100 magenta, 100 yellow. Move this to the back right here. So move to back right there, nothing fancy, and then just so it matches the top, let's do that yellow circle again. So ellipse tool and draw a circle, color it yellow. And then we can come back in here and remove or move the points, right? To make it skinnier. Let's say we wanna make this taller like that. You can do that. So make it your own come up here, you know, maybe you don't want it that thin, maybe your arch is smaller, whatever you want, right? Maybe you think this is crooked, I thought it was crooked. There, very cool, right? And we can get rid of the black lines, like I said before, these black outlines, those are just there to help. So if we click on these, all of these, just get rid of the black outline. So same thing with this, get rid of the black outline. If we come to the group here and all of these, can get rid of that black outline. Same thing with the hat. If we come into the hat and we open it up, you know, we could get rid of that black outline. This one had one, and I believe this one had one. So now we don't have any black outlines, we're good. We can select all of these right here and group those. So hit Command G, 
and name this one uh, right leg. Boom, so we have now elf hat, right leg, and we're gonna do left leg, and that's gonna be the easiest thing of all. We're gonna click on our move tool here, select the, or click on this, hold down option, shift, click on it, and drag. You made a copy, and you just have to flip it right here. Flip horizontal, and now we got both of those. So you can see a very simple way to do this. You have your elf hat and elf shoes, and now you can go and create your designs. Now this works great on white, but we need to see what it looks like on black. So I'm gonna zoom out, and I'm gonna color the artboard black. So just click on artboard one, and you can see it doesn't have any color right now. We're gonna color it full black, 100, 100, 100. And you may like this color if you want something different, want something to stand out. You may want to change this, you know, this yellow to white. You can do that. Maybe you want to change this green stocking right here on the right leg. Let's do it. So the green stocking right here, you can see it's green. Maybe you want that white. You know, you can change that too. Let's change the other one. If you do the right leg, you're going to have to do, if you do the left leg, you're going to have to do the right leg. So let's do it here, click on it. So the th nice thing about you doing it yourself, you can change the colors. Maybe, you know, this green right here doesn't stand out as much. So you can start making it darker or lighter, right? By lighter, you can just turn this down right here. Look at that. So either way, whatever you wanna do, make it your own and have fun with this. This is a really simple way to do it. And now all you have to do is use this and in a creative way, put some text in here, maybe use this as an L, we've seen that in one of the clip arts. This is a nice shape for an L. You could spell elf, you can spell love, you can spell anything with L's there. Have fun with this, make this something of your own, make it something that people would wanna wear and buy for Christmas, and make a series, you know, maybe make one for your dad, for mom, for child, uh, that they all can wear as a family, that could be really fun. Grandma and grandpa, don't forget those uncles and aunts too. So you could have a lot of fun with this uh, for Christmas and make sure it's something, again, that's yours, uh, something that's different and original so that it stands out when people are looking for elf t-shirts. So hopefully this, this graphic helps you uh, and the graphics that I showed you before if you wanna use those to get you some sales during Christmas. So that is it for this video. Hopefully this video is really helpful for you. If it was, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to this channel already, hit that subscribe button so you can see all my videos that are coming up. I got lots more to share with you. Before I end this video, I wanted to ask you a question of the day. And the question of the day is this. What is your favorite Christmas movie? We're getting into Christmas time. Lots of good Christmas movies out there. Elf is a really good movie. One of my favorite holiday movies. What is your favorite holiday movies? Just doing this elf uh, design made me think of the movie elf. Don't do movie elf stuff on there. I know that you see a lot of those on Amazon. Those are for the elf movie. Do your own elf t-shirts. Don't tie it into the elf movie stuff. So be very careful about that. But uh, let me know what your favorite Christmas movie is in the comments. Have fun with that. And thank you again for watching this video. And if you wanna see more how to draw stuff, Click on these videos right here. And as always, guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.